Hey, what's the big idea? Give me that. Oh, no, I won't. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, no, I won't. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, no, I won't. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, no, you won't. Yes, I will. Oh, no, you won't. Hey, you take her or I'll shove it down your throat. I have been teasing you over the last few videos with a potential rumour about Warner Brothers and Star Trek. How Warner Brothers might still be interested in taking on the franchise. But what is the rumour? Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So first of all, I'm going to say that this is very much a rumour and I've not been able to substantiate it at all. Um, the person I spoke to that is close to Secret Howdy does not know whether this is true or not. And to be honest, he doubts it as much as I do. I'm going to say very much straight away, when I was told this rumour, I thought that it was probably BS. But it does raise some very interesting possibilities. And if it is true, and I have to say the person I'm speaking to, and this is adamant that it is, and he says that the person that he got this information from is actually physically seeing the evidence themselves. So if it is true, there is some very interesting possibilities. So what is the rumour I keep going on about? For the love of God, Jamie, just tell us. Well, apparently, Warner Brothers came back after the deal to buy Paramount fell apart with a cash offer. They put money on the table and said, we would still like to buy Star Trek. They apparently want to buy the IP. Now, the person I'm speaking to wasn't really very clear on whether that would be a license agreement or actually buying the IP. I'd be very surprised if Paramount let go one of its major assets, particularly at this moment in time. So maybe we're talking about a license agreement, which maybe would make sense. I'll tell you why in a second. But why did I immediately go that this was probably not true? Well, Skydance are currently in the process of putting together a deal to buy Paramount Global. If everything goes ahead, they are hoping to buy the controlling interest of Paramount Global and become its new custodians. They are currently doing something called due diligence. Now, I'm being told by people that understand this sort of thing way better than I do, that actually Paramount would be in a lot of hot water if they tried to sell one of their major assets during this process. Skydance could basically sue because they're currently going through the process of trying to figure out exactly how much Paramount is worth. And you don't buy a house with a lovely pool and then when you move in, find out that they've filled the pool up with concrete. You would be annoyed and you would try to take action. That would basically be the problem Paramount would be in if they try to sell a asset like Star Trek during this process. They'd be breaching actually several rules and they could potentially also be in trouble for things like stock manipulation. So it wouldn't necessarily just be a civil matter. It could actually be a legal matter. But... If Skydance are already aware of this potential deal and maybe already sanctioned it, it is something that could happen. But why would Skydance do that? Well, for one, they already have a really good working relationship with Warner Brothers. They have a good working relationship with Paramount and Amazon, etc., etc. And at the end of the day, if Warner Brothers have a plan for Star Trek, a plan that we talked about in an earlier video, please go and check that out, a plan that would make Skydance money, they might be interested. Also, I am hearing, though, that when Skydance do take over Paramount, they do plan to trim an awful lot of fat off the behemoth that is Paramount at the moment. They do want to um, get rid of Paramount Plus. That will still be an entity that they would produce material for, but it probably will merge with Peacock. That's a great deal for Peacock because it can allow Peacock to then exist internationally where it doesn't at the moment. Um, but it's also a really good deal for Paramount and Skydance. If you are enjoying the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, do all of those youtube -y things. But also, go over onto patreon.com forward slash sidetrack, where most of our new videos do actually premiere first, if you are desperate to see them before anyone else. Go check it out. So that's another thing that this Warner Brothers deal could potentially give Skydance a cash injection, something that Paramount actually desperately needs right now. I'm actually being told, and again, I don't really understand why, 
but I'm being told that actually Paramount needs cash reserves. While this sale, etc., is going through, they must have money in the bank. Um, I imagine this is maybe something to do with paying wages and things during the transition. I'm not really sure if I'm honest, but I'm being told they need cash in the bank cash they currently don't have which is another reason why maybe skydance would sanction this deal now because it would allow paramount to get that cash reserve it needs warner brothers would do it for exactly the same reason why i um explained in an earlier video they actually see star trek as something that would fit very well with their business model they could continue to make star trek for paramount netflix anybody else that wanted it. It fits their business model of wanting to produce material for other people. And really, they could also get back into making Star Trek for the cinema, which is something that actually I think Warner Brothers would have loved to do. Now, all of this would basically require, again, Secret Hideout to be cut out of the equation. I actually think this would require Paramount to buy Secret Hideout, like I've discussed in several of the videos, create Star Trek Studios, and then shift all that over to Warner Brothers. As I've said as well, though, actually, that might not be an unrealistic um, plan because I think Alex Kurtzman would probably quite like it if he was given the offer. This would also, though, potentially solve one of those other problems that I was talking about is that Kurtzman could basically get a deal with Warner Brothers maybe to get a few of his other projects got through and greenlit. And there's something else that maybe even Skydance could sweeten the deal with. Maybe Skydance say, you know, Help us out here. We want to get Secret Hider over to Warner Brothers. We want to get Star Trek over to Warner Brothers. Let's make a movie. I think Kurtzman could possibly be convinced. So what are the chances that this rumor is actually true? As I say, I cannot confirm it. It's just one person that's come to me and said that this happened. Well, my instinct is still to say that this is not true. My instinct is that actually during this current process, there's a lot of confusion and anything that would confuse this even more. I don't think either side would want that. I don't think Paramount Global would want it. I don't think National Amusements that currently own um, Paramount Global would want it. And I don't think Skydance would want it. Also, the thing is, even if Skydance have sort of said, yeah, OK, go ahead. <sighs> Skydance haven't confirmed they're getting this yet. Somebody else could step in or something else could happen unless this process is further along behind the scenes than we know. I really don't think that this would make sense right now. As I've said in the previous video, though, the Skydance deal could go through very, very quickly. So maybe, maybe it is further along than we think. And maybe Warner Brothers are being encouraged to actually go for this. Do Warner Brothers have the money to actually put down enough to make this deal? Well, to buy Star Trek as a franchise? I think that cost might have a B in the start of it. I think we're talking hundreds of millions of dollars, if not maybe a billion, if they were to buy the actual franchise. But if this was a license agreement, if this was agreement basically to say, look, we'll borrow Star Trek for the next five or six years, we'll produce it and we'll produce it for you and you and you and you, and maybe Paramount then take a cut out of what's produced as well. That is a deal I think could potentially have legs. I think Warner Brothers would be better placed to actually make it. It would actually allow Star Trek to continue pretty much unhindered during the transition period where Paramount has new owners. It would allow Warner Brothers to continue to make things like Strange New Worlds. It's popular, but maybe they could then change direction in a few other areas. It could actually be a deal that worked for everybody. So I'm going to say, hey, look, this is possible. But until I start hearing this rumor from other sources or other places, I'm going to say very much it's probably not true. But guys, get into the comments and tell me what you think. Is this a deal that does make sense? Could you see Warner Brothers going, all right, look, we can't buy Paramount, but can we buy Star Trek? Does that sound like it would make business sense for Warner Brothers, even though it does seem to fit their business model currently? And how likely do you really think this is if it is true? Even if Warner Brothers did slap the money on the table, do you think Paramount would take it, considering the current climate? Get into the comments and tell me exactly what you think. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out and you'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our videos do appear first and you get to see them without the adverts. As always, please stay safe and I'll see you next time.
So first of all, I have to say that this is very much a rumour and I've not been able to... So first of all, I have to say this is very much a rumour. I've not been able to... I can't say substantiate. 